Hello, my name's Jaden, and you're watching the YouTube channel known as Hyena Waffles. And today, we're going to talk about Infinity. We have pondered at Infinity since its conception in 6th century BC. Infinity can be confusing, so we're gonna try to figure out Infinity today. Let's start by looking at the dictionary definition of Infinity. And that is, a limitless number greater than any assignable quality. But that doesn't sufficiently describe infinity. To do that, we're going to have a look at the infamous Infinity Hotel Paradigm. Imagine you are in a hotel with infinite rooms. Unfortunately, there are no vacancies. Then the guy at the desk says, I'll move you to room 1. And he moves the guy in room 1 to room 2, and the guy in room 2 to room 3, and so on and so forth. So, that accurately illustrates that you can have an infinite number of infinities in a single infinity. It also answers the question, what's infinity plus infinity? Well, it's infinity. So is infinity times infinity. So, what's infinity minus infinity? Well, right away, you think zero, right? But, actually, no. It's undefined. It, the answer can be any number. So, this is the same thing with infinity divided by infinity. If you don't understand how this could happen, there's a link in the description to a website that will explain it. Here's my favorite description of infinity. I am standing in my hallway. And the only way I can get closer to the end of the hallway is by going to the halfway point between me and the end of the hallway. So, I go. I'm halfway across the hallway now, and I go again to the point in be halfway between me and the end of the hallway. I'm three fourths of the way there, and I do it again: seven eighths, fifteen sixteenths, thirty one thirty seconds, and it goes on forever and ever and ever. 